Number 57. How many kilojoules of heat will be released when exactly one mole of manganese, which is MN, is burned to form MN3O4 solid at standard state conditions? Okie dokie. So the first thing we have to do here is basically write a balanced equation, right? We're basically forming MN3O4. So this is like a formation equation, all right? So let's start from there. We're going to form MN, actually it's MN3O4. Do we really have to worry about the states? Not really. Maybe, maybe for just to... Uh, just to do it all correct, let's just say, let me just make this a little bigger. Let's just say that this is MN3O4, and this is a solid. So now we have to form this from its elements. So it's basically talking about a combustion reaction. We're, we're burning manganese, right? And it's burning. We always burn in oxygen. And those are the two elements, right? So I have MN and I have O. Now you say to yourself, okay, is MN a diatomic or is it a free element? It's a diatomic. Oh, sorry, just kidding. <laughs> I was thinking of oxygen. MN is not on the diatomic list. So it's a free element. It exists by itself. And all free elements are going to be solids except for uh, mercury, which is a liquid. Now you work on the other element, which is oxygen. So you say to yourself, is oxygen a free element or is it a diatomic? Yeah, it's a diatomic, so I have to put O2. And O2 is a gas at standard state. Now we just have to balance this equation out. I have three MNs, so I need a three in front of here. I have four oxygens, so I'll just put a two in front of here, right? Two times two is four, and now it's balanced. Okay. So now let's find out what the delta H is, right? That's the heat. And under standard conditions, we're basically finding a delta H. Delta H is enthalpy, which is the amount of heat that is either released or absorbed. Now, you have to find out those standard numbers, guys. What I did was I went into the appendix of a textbook and I wrote down the delta H values that I saw for each component. You need them for all three components. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to uh, write them out, okay? So I believe, so let's see, for the MN304, I'm going to put this as a negative 1378.83. I don't have to write the units when I do my math because I know at the end of the day that delta H is always going to be kilojoules per mole. And then for the reactants, they're both zero, so I'm just going to put that there. Just know that any delta H for free elements or diatomics, they're always going to be zero. Okay, now what's our delta H formula? It's this right over here. It's products minus reactants. It's the sum of all the products minus the sum of all the reactants. And I think maybe I'm just going to switch the colors on here just so that the colors match. So these should be in blue because these are reactants. And then this one should be in red because this is a product. I tried to remember which color I made what, but oopsie. Can't, can't remember it all, guys. <laughs> okay, so we just have to find the sum. So technically what we have to do is for every number, you have to multiply it by how many you have in your balanced equation. So for example, for manganese, you have three of them, so technically this should be multiplied by three. Since you have two oxygens, technically this should be multiplied by two. And since you only have one of these, you don't have to do anything with this, all right? And what you're going to do is you're just going to add the two of these together, right? It's Mn plus O2. So three times zero plus two times zero is a total of zero. And then this would just be this, right? So now since I have two numbers, this is the sum of all the reactants. This is the sum of all the products. So now I can find out my delta H. My delta H for the reaction would be products, which is the negative 1378.83, and then minus 
the reactants, which is zero. So my delta H for this would be just the negative 1378.83 kilojoules per mole. But now that's not what they're asking. They're asking for how many kilojoules of heat will be released with exactly one mole of manganese. Now technically, how many moles of manganese is in this equation? There's three manganese moles, right? So I have to set this up as a ratio. So I'll put this over on this side. I can say that the negative 1378.83 kilojoules is equal to, well, moles, right? But now if you want to be specific, you can pick any one of these three. But since they're asking for one mole of manganese, I have to pick manganese, Mn. But in the balanced equation, there's three moles of Mn. So just be careful, guys, okay? Now they want for just one mole of manganese. So technically, you have to cancel out the moles. But if I just put the one mole here, that's what we have, right? What's going to happen to the moles of Mn? They're going to cancel. And you see how you're just going to be left with kilojoules, which is heat? So all you had to do was basically just divide by 3. So 1378.83 divided by 3. I get 450, yeah, 459.6. And that's kilojoules now. Now here's the thing, guys. There's still a negative here, right? Because when I did the math, there's a negative. But just remember that the negative means that the heat was just released. So how many kilojoules of heat was released? There's no such thing as a negative amount of heat or a negative amount of energy. It just means that it's being released. So when you're answering this question, you don't put the negative. They don't, you know, that means that there's literally negative amount of heat. In this case, you would just say that there is, and I'll put it at the bottom, 459.61 kilojoules released. And then by saying that, you basically summed up that there should be a negative in there. So that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel if you want to, but that's okay. Um, I hope you guys are doing well, and let's keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you on your future tests and quizzes, and let's keep learning. I'll see you in the next lessons. Bye-bye.